I just recently had my anatomy scan and I want to share some expectations and tips with you guys in case you're curious on what you can expect during your anatomy scan. Hey everyone and welcome back to Simply Handmade and if you're new, welcome. My name is Cal and in today's video I'm going to be discussing expectations and some tips for the anatomy scan which is one of the biggest scans that you can have during pregnancy and I'm here to tell you my experiences and what you can possibly expect during your anatomy scan. So the anatomy scan is pretty much the biggest scan in pregnancy when they look at your baby's everything, their organs, their growth, the actual anatomy of the heart, hence anatomy scan, the entire anatomy of your baby. And you can also know what you're having during the scan if you choose to have that. So the anatomy scan is typically scheduled when you're around 12 weeks after the NT scan. So after at your 12 week scan they'll tell you okay your next scan is due um, around 20 weeks and they'll tell you a date range so you don't have to be exactly 20 weeks I believe it's between 18 and 22 some practices do 19 and 20 between 19 and 21 weeks it just depends on what your doctor is comfortable with but they'll there there's definitely a date range and you'll schedule it ahead of time if your husband doesn't typically go to these scans with you definitely encourage them to go to this scan because it's one of the bigger scans. One of the things that I was really personally excited to do was film the actual scan and unfortunately they did not allow filming at all. Mm -mm. You cannot film, uh, at least at my practice. Usually you can film when you're in your doctor's office and they're doing a quick little scan with the baby but with this scan they really discourage filming or they <laughs> don't allow filming at all not discourage it they don't allow it at all be prepared to be there for a long time i had my twins three years ago and since there were two babies i of course expected the scan to be long but now that i'm pregnant with just one baby a little singleton um i didn't expect the scan to be as long as it was it was about 30 to 45 minutes and the tech cannot tell you anything if there's something wrong or if they feel like they they see something funny you cannot ask the tech any questions and even if you do they're not allowed to answer their only job is to measure and scan and get all of the um, little checklists like the brain the heart the bones um, the growth everything like that and give it to the doctor who interprets the scans and tells you if there's something wrong with this scan you will find out if your baby has um, a genetic uh, like a defect uh, like a cleft palate or if there's something wrong with their heart or if anything else is wrong with their development this is the scan that will tell you if something is wrong but <laughs> I don't want to scare you um, most of the time as with my experience with my friends and everyone else the scan do come back normal most of the times so usually if there is a cause for concern your doctor will call you the very next day or maybe even the same day depending on what time you had your scan done so if there is any nerves or anything like that just know that no news is good news and you'll most likely go over all of the results at your next appointment Okay, so when you go in for the scan, you're gonna actually wanna go in with a full bladder. I ended up waiting in the waiting room for about two hours, and at that point, I really needed to go. So if there is going to be a long wait, usually the receptionist will tell you if there's quite a long wait. Maybe you'll have the opportunity to relieve yourself and then drink some water. So by the time that you're called, your bladder is obviously filled up again and the tech can do their job. Usually you go in with a full bladder because you the bladder kind of pushes the baby up and it gives them the opportunity to get the shots that they need and midway through sorry for the sirens but midway through the scan they will allow you to use the restroom and continue on with the rest of the um, scan a tip from me to you guys is to wear something that you can have easy access to your stomach so like a little dress with some leggings or maternity pants and a shirt something that you can just pull up 
and your stomach is exposed right there um, nothing that you have to take off no excessive layers or anything like that I understand if it's cold outside that you would want to layer up but layer up with some sweaters don't layer up with multiple layers of camis or clothes that you're gonna have to actually physically take off in order for the tech to, to access your stomach so your best bet really is to go simple Another thing you're gonna wanna be prepared for is to lay semi-flat or in a flat position. And for me, when I lay flat, I feel like the, the baby just comes up and compresses my lungs. So it's really, really uncomfortable for me. If you're not feeling comfortable, you can let her know, you can take a break, and that's what they're there for. Let them know if you feel uncomfortable in any kind of way. And also be prepared for your baby to not cooperate during the anatomy scan. My little one was kind of hiding. The baby didn't want anything scanned, constantly kicking at the probe, did not want to be bothered. So the ultrasound tech had, a, had me go on my side, my left side, usually to promote uh, movement of the baby, had me go on my right side, had me sit up, had me drink water. There are so many things that they'll tell you to do to get this baby to cooperate. They were jiggling my belly, <laughs> um, but sometimes the baby just doesn't want to cooperate. So don't be surprised if they request a second scan. That does not always mean that there's something wrong and they want to see what's going to happen. Usually the second scan is because they couldn't get all the shots they needed for the first scan and everything usually turns out fine. So if the, the tech requests a second scan, don't freak out. Um, and if you do freak out, you can always ask your doctor to see if there are any concerns with the first scan and they'll tell you, obviously they have to be honest with you as your baby. So they'll tell you if there's a cause for concern or not. So. Don't freak out unless there's something to freak out for. And the last thing and arguably one of the most exciting parts of the anatomy scan is to know what your baby's gender is. If you're having a boy or if you're having a girl or if you're having two boys, two girls, a boy and a girl, if you're having multiples, you will be able to find out definitively if what you're having sometimes the early scans at like 12 13 weeks that you can get from a third party they're not really that accurate because the baby is not 100 percent developed so at this point girl parts and boy parts should be fully developed and you should know exactly what you're having so that is all for my experience and my tips for you guys hopefully you find this um helpful and calming <laughs> um, the anatomy scan could definitely be like a scary scan or an exciting scan and my prayer for you guys is that everything goes well um, that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up to let me know that I should be doing more of this content for you guys also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video bye